And up next, we will be hearing from one of our headline sponsors, Red Hat. And uh, let's uh, throw it to Sean Cohen. Thanks, Mark and Jonathan. It's great to be in Open Info Live. Today, I'd like to talk about OpenStack as the foundation for the hybrid cloud. But before we talk about the hybrid cloud foundation, let's talk about the hybrid cloud. In the latest 2021 Global Tech Outlook report, we surveyed IT decision makers. What's best described the cloud strategy as part of the technology priorities for 2021? It was not a surprise that 38% of the respondents had a cloud strategy involving more than one cloud. Having a cloud strategy allows you to use develop once, deploy anywhere approach for application. It also enables you consistency, control, compliance across the public, private, edge, and edge platforms. The greatest benefits of hybrid cloud strategy is the ability to choose the optimal solution for each task or workload. For example, you may want to run or use on-premise infrastructure, such as OpenStack, to store sensitive data and public cloud data services uh, or application for application developments or additional burst capacity um, in your next Black Friday. You uh, might use uh, multiple public cloud vendors as well to meet a variety of local regulations or shift workloads from one provider to another based on pricing, functionality, or customer demand. You may want also to invest in the edge computing strategy to distribute greater compute and storage power closer to the data sources and the users in your network. Many of our customers would like to offer cloud-native workloads in their large-scale private cloud deployment today in order to innovate and go to market faster, as well as accelerate the application development. They can achieve it by allowing OpenStack to provide Kubernetes with infrastructure as a service, with complementing services such as multi-tenancy, self-service infrastructure as a service, basically com complementing uh, the two worlds, allowing Kubernetes to run in a containerized application on the infrastructure provided by OpenStack and basically use the same IaaS services for both VMs and containers. Since the two are tightly integrated, OpenShift, Kubernetes uh, can consume OpenStack resources on demand without the user intervention. With more consistent open source foundation, the overall complexity will, will fail on your operations, development, and security teams that will need to deploy and manage the full stack. A good example of how we address this complexity is in the recent work Red Hat was leading in the OpenStack Wallaby and Xena cycles to drive consistent role-based access control across various OpenStack services and deployment footprint. As you can see in our Open Hybrid Cloud vision, it actually extends as well to the telco edge, taking it one step further from the develop once, deploy everywhere to operate autonomously. This is where we also see the extension from DevOps to AI ops running specific AI and AML application microservices at the edge. Let's see how open hybrid cloud strategy is actually extended to the technical horizontal cloud. Red Hat has also worked closely with the community and ecosystem contributors, including operators in many communities around open hybrid cloud edge surrounding Linux, KVM, OVS, Open RAN, Open NFV, Open Stack, and Kubernetes to drive innovation in this area such as automation of installation, operation processes across multi-vendor software stack, extending the telco horizontal clouded all the way from the 4G and uh, 5G core to the network edge and the far edge sites. Last month, open, the Open Infra Foundation reported that the number of total cores managed by OpenStack grew by 66% over the last year. Today, I would like to zoom in into one of the driving forces behind this surge. The emerging 5G landscape is encouraging a more open ecosystem where collaboration is key to success. In the past year, we've witnessed more significant investments globally in 5G networks as telco rushed to meet the business and data demand. The next gen 5G is relying on a mix of virtualized and cloud-native distributed infrastructure using containerized networks applications and modular microservices, increasing the value of open horizontal cloud platforms. OpenStack remains a backbone of many telco service providers, powering 4G LTE core networks today and serving about 2.5 billion mobile subscribers worldwide. So what we've seen here is the continuous growth of the 4G deployments from one end, alongside new wave of 5G deployments, 
where we, we they see the extended scale of private clouds deployments in order in other verticals as well. So it, the growth of we're seeing in 5G, but is also being uh, uh, aligned, if you will, with what we see in other, such as financial services and automotive. Uh, keep in mind, there's a connection between the two, uh, autonomous car and autonomous uh, capabilities of doing, for example, uh, data analytics closer to the customer premise, basically connects the two worlds together. There's still tremendous am amount of work of workload that is not, aren't just going to be re get rebuilt or modernized, right? Our goal is to help to figure out how we make them a little more cloud native. You can simply cannot just rewrite all of them. So building the bridge is going to be a key focus for us. A good example of that is the recent work we've now introduced in the latest version of Red Hat OpenStack platform with the introduction of our modernized deployment option of OpenStack and Kubernetes, leveraging OpenShift container platform system operators to install and run OpenStack control plane within Kubernetes using the new Red Hat OpenStack platform director operator. Um, it's, it's great to talk about the horizontal clouds, but let's show you a couple of examples. Um, the first thing that I want to show with you is Verizon. Verizon have made, uh, if, you, if you personally uh, it, uh, is a Verizon customer and you've made a 5G call on the Verizon network lately, be sure OpenStack played a major role in making that happen. Verizon 4G core uh, is powered by Red Hat OpenStack platform today, and its 5G core deploy is based on an open containerized infrastructure with Red Hat OpenShift. It helps Verizon to push processing powers all the way down to the edge with innovation, um, innovative applications, delivery uh, with an entire ecosystem of partners and, and open standards as we discussed earlier on a common platform of open source that helps not just to drive the networks of today, but also lay the grounds of the networks of tomorrow. Another great example is Vodafone Zigo. Vodafone Zigo is one of the leading communication and entertainment services provider in Netherlands who is using Red Hat OpenStack platform for its 4G mobile core. With the ongoing growing of demand of data intensive services and new di digital experience, Vodafone Zigo uh, is continually modernizing its network and IT system to increase agility and manage the complexities and drive efficiency. The company has selected Red Hat OpenShift for its foundation for the cloud native application across both the networks and businesses with 5G core as the first deployment. With this investment, the Vodafone Zigo is now able to scale out more rapidly and effectively across multiple clouds and to the edge as the business needs and market demands evolve. So to summarize, OpenStack plays a key role in many customers' hybrid cloud journey and emerging industry trends, providing scalable infrastructure as services foundation to allow customers to innovate, go to market faster, and accelerate the application development. And with that, I want to hand it back to you, Mark and Jonathan.